Hi, I'm Mike Barber. I lead Healthy Imagination for General Electric. Uh, Healthy Imagination is a new strategy that we have in the health sector where we're looking at, uh, from a patient perspective, how to really improve the quality of care, uh, reduce the cost of care for the systems because having sustainable health care is so, so important, and then really looking at access to care. Because uh, if you look across the globe, there's uh, big uh, inequities in healthcare delivery and healthcare access for different people because of socioeconomic needs, because of remote locations that they might be at, and sometimes just because of ethnic uh, ethnicity and background. Uh, and so we're really looking to get a 15% improvement in quality while lowering co cost by 15% and increasing access, and that's between now and 2015. And talking about an increase in access of 15%, that equates to having life-saving technology reach 100 million additional people per year uh, as a goal that we have. Uh, and so we're really thinking about what this means to the patient. Uh, we've been in the healthcare sector for many years providing diagnostic imaging equipment, uh, IT systems, but really thinking about every interaction a patient has during the continuum of care. Uh, and now for us, it's more things happen outside of a hospital than in a hospital. It's important to understand home health and what it means for people that are recovering at home. Uh, what does it mean that their primary care position? And again, some of those uh, people who don't have access to care who are in a remote village or in Indonesia on a remote island uh, where they're interacting with a midwife. And so the tier of the healthcare professional is different than just a doctor or a nurse. There's midwives, there's community health workers. And we're trying to understand how to reach those and give them portable technologies that they can use with those patients. Uh, a big area for us is understanding maternal and infant care. And so if you go in many parts of the world, people still have unattended births. And that's fine for 85, 90% of the, the time of a woman's pregnant. But there are certain conditions, if there's multiple gestation, if there is a breech birth, or if the placenta is not in the right spot, but the mother should have an attended birth. Can we use technology like ultrasound imaging and put it in the hands of a midwife or a paraprofessional and give a targeted uh, machine which can help identify just those particular conditions and then have that person Get trans, uh, transport it to a district hospital or where they can have the baby in a cesarean section. So being able to identify that we think can be a big uh, help in maternal and infant care. So that's just an example of some of the things that we're doing. But if, for us it's really focusing on the patient and putting the patient at the center and then what is it that we can equip or enable the, the clinical caregiver to help that patient. So that interaction between the doctor and the patient, the nurse and the patient is very key for us and that's something that we're looking at. Um, we're also looking at expanding our portfolio of products because we understand it's going to take many different levels of price points and product capabilities to really attack that. So we're, we're looking at expanding what we call more products and more price points to understand the different tiers based on the infrastructure which might uh, exist in a, in a country. Uh, and then looking at a country specific conditions uh, that may exist, uh, aging population in Japan. Uh, it's something that they're leading the rest of the world in terms of aging. So what are those diseases? What are those conditions that we should think about there? Uh, so dementia, arthritis, uh, things to keep the assisted living center so people can stay in their home in an assisted living center for longer and longer periods of time. And then we try to look to see if there's connections on a global scale uh, because the UK, Italy, the US from an aging population are be just behind uh, Japan. Uh, and so what can we learn from doing work in Japan that we can use in other places? So Healthy Imagination is really a big commitment that we have. Between now and 2015, we'll, in, we'll uh, invest about $6 billion uh, in, in these products, services, financing, uh, and looking at uh, systems change, bringing more efficiency to hospital systems around the world. Uh, and we think it'll be a big payoff for a large societal issue. Healthcare is a $4.5 trillion industry. It'll continue to thrive as long as there's still people on the planet and there's caregivers on the planet, there'll be a need for better interaction. So we feel we have a, a lot to learn, and we also have a lot to offer in this space.